We've all heard about technology and artificial intelligence, but how is it going to impact the facilities management sector in 2019 and beyond? I'm Raji Pillai, and here to discuss more on the issue and give us some exclusive insights is facilities management Middle East editor, Nikhil Perel. Welcome, Nikhil. Thanks, thanks, Raji. So, so what's been happening in the FM sector with regards to AI and automation? Well, in short, Rajiv, a lot has been happening. If you just look at the soft services side of things, uh, robots and and sensors are sort of replacing uh, tasks that what otherwise human beings would have been doing. Uh, so, for example, at a recent trade show called the Middle East uh, Cleaning Technology Week (MECTW), which happened in Dubai, um, there, were, there were quite a few service providers at the trade show with their cleaning uh, equipment, a lot of which was enabled by IoT. And very interestingly, we even saw a, uh, a robot, a completely automated cleaning robot that was uh, that can go around a space either indoor or outdoor and, and clean it, you know, without any human intervention. So the, the routes are fed in, uh, the timing is fed in, and one of the, the good things about that, Rajiv, is that it actually can even report to the computer-aided facilities management uh, system that's enabled. So it sort of can tick many boxes at a time. So that's something that's been happening from a completely human, uh, a human-free point of view, if you may. Uh, then th there's also things where IoT is coming in, where sort of uh, r you know humans are still involved in the process, uh, and you see that in terms of these huge uh, sort of trolleys that are dragged about by soft services managers or, or soft services cleaners, sorry, or um, even housekeepers. And enabling those machines or those devices to the cloud is what's uh, what's increasingly happening as well. Yeah. That, that's uh, that's all well and good, Nikhil. Yeah. But all are all FM service providers uh, getting in on the act? It's early days for the technology, especially if you look at the the bot side of things. Uh, but still, there has been an early adopter in Servio FM, the Dubai-based FM company which is part of uh, Union Properties. Now, they announced earlier in 2018 that they had uh, tested the uh, Abbott Bot system. That's the system that's, uh, that was uh, showcased by Al Yusuf, who's the supplier for the uh, bot in, in the uh, region. They said that they have tested it in Dubai Sports City, and uh, they will implement it, obviously, because you don't want a situation if it's going to be outdoors or even in a, in a parking space. You don't want it to be creating a traffic jam, you know, in and around a master community, especially when you're driving to work, coming back, and you see this bot without any human on it blocking you. So there has there has to be adequate testing done by service providers. And we cannot say it's widely been done from a completely automated point of view. Servio has taken the lead. But from the IoT side of things, a, a lot of service providers, Emeril, uh, Farnec, they're all doing their bit in terms of getting AI and automation into their systems. Uh, again, not just soft systems, even the hard systems. Uh, and in fact, uh, I, I caught up with uh, the German um, cleaning products manufacturer called Villeda. Uh, they are well known in the space, even in the consumer space. Um, and they had some interesting products to, to talk about, especially on the, uh, the cleaning trolley side of things. All right, so let's see what uh, Villeda had to say on this. Uh, we are here on the show to present our new cleaning trolley, which is called Origo 2. Uh, it's, it's a big innovation in the market because it's bringing cleaning trolleys in the future. We will have a system or solution to integrate digital into the actual um, utensils. So we got also to have an iPad on the cleaning trolley. Um, we'll have a perfect solution also for cleaning with satellite. Um, so this will make the life of our partners and all the cleaning staff much easier in the future. We, we see it as a strong trend in the market that facility management companies use digital solutions more and more. They use apps. They have their cleaning plans in a digital way. And I think this is really the future. And this is where a lot of companies go to. And we want, we want to be part of this uh, trend and support the companies on the way. So, so that's some fascinating insight, Nikhil. But what's the impact on the human element to AI and automation? Are we going to see job losses and redundancies? I mean, that's the obvious thing, right? I mean, Raji, when we talk about AI, we always worry or we talk about automation, we always worry about how is it going to impact us, you know, the humans that are creating this technology. And, uh, you know, in a word, there might be job losses, but we've spoken to recruitment consultants and because 
FM is in its nascency all over the world. Uh, it's still a concept that's catching on. Uh, standards are still getting developed. ISO standard was just out uh, in 2018. Uh, there is going to be more work to pick up. You know, the, the concept of FM is still a relatively new sector, unlike, let's say, construction or, or IT, where it's well-defined, you know, you have major players in, in, the, in the world. So that can be offset in that sense. So AI and automation might replace humans, but it might replace humans that that are already doing redundant jobs, you know, that repetitive jobs, if I may uh, say that. So in turn, what you're going to get is you're going to get a higher level of efficiency. You're going to get higher or longer asset life because at the end of the day, um, FM is only considered, you know, as a means of, in, of increasing your asset life cycle. And you can see that even from an, from an MEP point of view, uh, uh, you know, prolonging the life of a pump, which should ideally be seven years, if you can increase it to 12 years, it's the, it's the win for an FM. So if AI and automation can sort of help us do that, you're helping the, the asset from a longer term point of view. And in that way, yes, there might be a few uh, jobs, I wouldn't say lost, but offset in that, in that side, if I may. All right, thanks for all your inputs, Nikhil. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, leave a comment, and share with all your friends. Don't forget we publish new episodes every day. Thank you for watching and goodbye.